Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is reaching the heights, right? So before proceeding further and understanding about the problem statement, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now and press the bell icon as well so that you are not missing any update or any video that I'm putting on my YouTube channel, right? So it will motivate me to create more such content for you. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description still. Other than this, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. The accounts has been mentioned in the description. So let's get started with the problem statement. The problem says the teacher gives a mental ability question to Raju. The question is as follows. Raju is in an elevator given by his teacher is an array of size n which denotes the number of flows and has a one base indexing. The elevator starts from the ground and moves up and down x and y flows respectively. There is a code used in the elevator according to which it moves up x flows given at odd indexes of the array and moves down y flows given at even indexes of the array he is asked to go to the highest floor possible help him to sort the array such that he reaches the highest floor after traversing the whole array from starting till the end without skipping any index also he always prefers to move more number of floors up and less number of floors down once he gets into the elevator the elevator should not reach the ground again if it does not print or not possible okay so here is the example so we are having this input the array consists of elements 2 3 4 5 so for this particular array right so in the output we are getting 5 2 4 3 so this array can be arranged as 5 3 4 2 or 4 3 5 2 or 4 2 5 3 but it will get arranged as 5 2, 4, 3 because he always preferred to move more number of floors up and less number of floors down. See, here what I mentioned in the question that, okay, see, here there is a code used in the elevator according to which it moves up x floors given at odd indexes. So, right, so x floors there, that is there given at odd indexes of the array and moves down y flows which is given at even indexes right and we are having uh, they have clearly specified in the question here itself that it is they are following a one based indexing right one based indexing okay so that's what uh, the thing is and also here they have specified that raju always prefer to move more number of flows up and less number of flows down it means the x thing that we are having at the odd indexes so he prefers to move more number of flows up and less number of flows down right so here we are having this arrangement we are having this arrangement 5 2 4 3 so this is the uh, required arrangement because here you can see he always prefer to move more number of floors up so as per this arrangement raju is moving more number of floors up and less number of floors down so here's the next example so in that case you can see the values of areas are equal like one one itself we are having so if that is the case then we have to simply turn not possible so what we have to do is the input is already taken care of by the driver code we have to complete the function game with number that takes size of array n and n array arr and return the sorted array or if it is not possible return minus one right so the expected time complexity they have measured here itself that is n log n so you it must you know give a sort of hint to you that what could be done for this particular problem auxiliary space is bigger of one right okay so what could be done for this particular problem um okay so first of all see here they have mentioned that the elevator starts from the ground and moves up and down okay then then here what he we have to make sure that he is asked to go to the highest floor possible okay help him to sort the array such that he reaches the highest floor after traversing the whole array from starting till the end okay so we need this kind of okay this kind of sequence now if you will clearly observe this particular like if you understood the problem and clearly observe this so what could be done for this kind of arrangement that see at the odd indexes if you will see right at the odd indexes okay at the even indexes right because although they are following one based indexing but in general we do have zero based indexing right so abhi we have this five on zero two on one 
four on three uh, four on two so zero one two three and is three on the third index right so you can see uh, on the even indexes right on the even indexes that is five uh, zero one two zero and two we are having the highest element right five is the highest and the four is the highest one also right lesser than that of five and on the odd indexes right that is one and three we are having the smaller elements two as well as three right so what could be done is what could be done is we can do is first just sort the array so for this particular example this is already sorted but they haven't mentioned that array is already sorted so first we have to sort our array then what we can do is see here uh, like in java what we have to do is so in this function we have to turn an array list so what we can do is we can simply add the elements to our array list right first we like we can use a simple two pointer approach right so first we added five then for the next let's see so this is for the zeroth index right and then for the odd index we have to add a smaller one so the element that is the starting that would be uh, denoting the smaller one so we'll be adding two then we'll be adding four and then we'll be adding three right so this kind of arrangement is expected from us so i believe that now you must have got the ideas and now the question is pretty straightforward all the the thing that you have to do is just sorting and then you have to do the arrangement that i just discussed so let's have a look on the code part and let's understand the scene so here's the code for the approach that we just discussed so first of all see if there's just one element in your array then simply we can return that particular element itself and that's it right uh, the next step that is supposed to be done is sort the array so here we have sorted the array by using the sort function now what we are doing here is that we are simply checking that if the starting element and the last element is equal it means all the elements in the in the given array they are all are equal right and if this is the case then simply uh, that is not possible the required arrangement is not possible so we are simply turning or we are simply adding this minus one to our array list and we are returning it right otherwise we have to make the arrangement that we discussed right so we are taking two variables here low initialize with zero and high with n minus one and this is for you know like first we have to take the element for the even index then for the odd index so that for, for this we have this flag variable so what we are doing is here is that while low value is less than that of equal to high so if flag value is equal equal to one so as of now it is so first we have to add the highest element so that would be at the like high is pointing to the last element which is the highest one right because we have sorted our array in ascending order so we are adding that element and we are reducing the value of five right and then now we are we are changing the value of flag as flag into minus one so it is going to be minus one this time so this time this else part will be executed and in as per this else part we want to add the smallest element right we want to add the smallest element so let's say if we are having this thing so two three four five so first what happened in our array list in our array list i got added then we uh, change the value right we change the value for flag we updated it as minus one this time so else part will be will become true and two will be added the next time minus one into minus one will give a positive curve one right and for that what we're going to do is like for that this if condition is going to be true so what would happen this four will be added right and then again we are going to like we are inverting the value so three will be added as else part will be true, right and that is the requirement arrangement that we are expecting right I hope the problem is seen in the logic part and the code part is clear for you. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have provided the code in the uh, in the description as well for the reference purpose, so you can have a look from there as well. So like I believe that if you understood the approach, then you can code this in any language you are comfortable with. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.